Well, hey there, people. Well, yesterday I was flagged down by this older couple. Uh, they want to give me $200 to do a dump run for them. Uh, $200 plus uh, whatever tipping fee it cost me. So, like, there's barely any stuff. And the kicker is there's a brand new pool. Like, I don't know how big it is, but they had set it up. Like, they live on a... Right on their property, there's, like, a hydro station, and they put up the pool, and the hydro company told them to take it down, so it was never even used. It was put up, it taken down, and... So I guess I'll have a pool for sale. I'll get the sizes when I get there. Well, I'm all done cleaning the yard. Check this out. She threw me an extra hundred bucks, like $300 for a little truckload full. Like, I can't believe it. Yesterday she wanted to give me two, and I'm, I'm telling her that's too much, that's too much, but they insisted to give me three. Well, here's the shit that was in Buddy's yard. The pool's buried in the front there somewhere. Well, to save me a few bucks, what I'll do is I'll put some of this shit on the curb. The city can pick it up. And here's the bonus pool. It's got all the accessories with it. Like, it's even got cleaning stuff. So I don't know what I, how much I can ask for that. I forgot to ask the guy how big it is, but it looks big enough. I don't know. Well, anyway, I just got back from picking up this washing machine. Like, uh, she's pretty mint. Well, the only thing that's wrong with it is the water pump. I think I might have one kicking around somewhere. I can't seem to find a water pump anywhere. Like, I probably threw it out when I was doing my yard cleanup. But anyway, I'll put this one aside and hold on to it, and I'll just try to find a water pump or something. I'm sure buying one wouldn't be that expensive. I mean, once that's fixed up, I probably can get a hundred bucks for it, right? Time to make some supper. Well, I've got some steak marinating in the fridge. So I'm multitasking right now. I've got one fire out here. And I got one in the backyard. Yeah, most of that load I picked up the other day there, uh, it's, it was mostly wood, so I might as well burn all that shit. Slowly but surely, I can have a fire at night and just enjoy it. Why not? All right, here's today's sides. Um, mushrooms, butter, Salt and pepper, and some Cajun powder. Alright, well the mushrooms have been on for a bit, time for the meat. It's only been a few minutes, but uh, let's flip it and see what's going on. Oh yeah. Dinner appears to be done. I was going for a medium rare on the steak. Let's see what it looks like. Well, I'd call that a medium. Close enough. Oh, there's Shelly's plate. That medium rare or medium? Probably medium, but it's mighty tasty, I'll tell you that much. Look at those shrooms. Usually, I like my steaks burnt. But once in a blue moon, I do like them bloody a little bit. Since we were splitting a steak, Shelly and I, uh, yeah, we'll eat them uh, medium rare or whatever it is. That's a little bloody, but whatever. Well anyway, the cut of meat was a uh, top sirloin grilling steak, and this is what I used to marinate it, maybe about two hours. This is good stuff, got to try it, two hours. So I pretty much got my truck cleaned out from uh, cleaning out that guy's yard. That's about it, like uh, everything else went to neighbor Dave, there was a lot of uh, gardening stuff and stuff like that. And I kept all the wood for myself, my ice hut needs wood, so it's all good. Oh, well, there we go. City will clean that up tomorrow morning. Didn't cost me any dumping fees. I still can't believe they gave me $300 to clean up their yard. Like, that's just too much. I'm, like, sitting here feeling guilty. But anyway, that pool uh, they gave me, I'm going to go back and talk to them for a bit and uh, get the sizes and whatnot. And if I sell it, I'll just give them all the cash. If I sell it. You know how Kijiji is. But I, I feel guilty. 300 was way too much for that. Way too much. Well, that's obviously how deep the pool is, but I can't tell how, how circle-y it is. 
I guess I can always unwrap it, but I don't want to kink it. Anyway, I'll go talk to the guy and... So anyway, a couple of days ago I scrap picked the, an old fashioned sink, it was pretty beat up and whatnot. I put it for sale on Kijiji, uh, I was offered up to 50 bucks for it. Uh, a friend of mine, Anita, she, she said, she asked me if I still had it. I said, well, for you Anita, just uh, give me 10 bucks. And I was going to the bachelor's party at the time, so I said, just, uh, well, you guys can't see me, can you? God, I had these. I grabbed my sunglasses. Well, anyway, I come out. I come back from the bachelor party. I had ten bucks in my mailbox, and this uh, Kill Kenny beer. I don't know if you guys can see that, because <laughs> I certainly can't see you guys. Well, anyway, let's uh, pour this in the glass and see what it looks like. Kill Kenny. I think somebody already did. He's already in the can. Anyway, let's crack this open. Ooh. It's a whistler. Another thick one. You guys know how to pick them. So, I'm a pretty good beer pourer, but holy. Okay, let's give it a shot. Well, anyway, cheers to Anita. Here we go. It won't be down the hatch, but it'll be a sippy. Doesn't smell too bad. That's not that good. I'll have to admit that's not that good. It's drinkable, but it's not my Canadian. It can't be my Canadian. Well, anyway, people, thanks for watching. Cheers, and we'll talk to you guys later. Fuck, that's gross. Yeah, man, that'll take stress away.